are some rules that Energy Plus has in terms of its um, the way that it reads the surfaces. So I want to show you some um, tricks. The first rule is that um, there cannot be L-shaped or U-shaped uh, surfaces in Energy Plus. It doesn't know how to read them. It also can't have curved surfaces. So there's a few ways of getting around this. The first way is say you had an L-shaped building. So I'm going to make a, um, an, another surface here and I'm going to pull this out to make an L. Now this is an illegal surface. Energy Plus doesn't know how to read this and you're going to get errors. However, if you subdivide this by placing a line through here, you want um, that to align so that it can read this as one volume and this as a separate volume. And something that's important here is to make sure that energy uh, that SketchUp doesn't accidentally make a plane right through there. And the way to check this is to click on the roof and hide it for a second. And you see that there is actually a plane there. You can just go ahead and delete that and you see that um, it, it goes all the way through. So to unhide that geometry, now I can go here and unhide and it's back. Um, it is always a good idea when you do things like this to um, especially save the file. I'm going to save as 05L shape. That IDF. Um, to load load that file again. So load that file again and make sure that when it rereads it, it uh, imports it correctly. So it looks like it's okay. Let's go here and hide this and see. Yep, that's good. So that's what we want to see. Okay, with that, that's the um, end of the geometry tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're going to look at editing the building information objects using the IDF editor.